Have you ever wanted to be able to take a classic tea time favourite such as a scone and make it suitable for vegans? Stick around because in this video I'll be showing you how! Before we get started if you haven't already done so hit that subscribe button and turn on the notifications bell to never miss a future upload of cooking and baking and a huge thank you to all the subscribers already as we've recently passed 500 subscribers! This recipe closely follows a traditional scone recipe and the secret ingredient that I'm using here is a splash of beer as a substitute for egg although you could use any carbonated drink. Traditionally you'd use butter for the fat content in the scones but to make it vegan we'll be using margarine instead, just check that the margarine that you are using is definitely suitable for use in vegan cooking. Into your mixing bowl place 350g of self raising flour, a pinch of salt, 50g of caster sugar, 95g of margarine and a pinch of mixed spice and then using your fingertips combine all the ingredients and rub the margarine into the flour until you have a nice golden flour mixture that resembles breadcrumbs. The next stage is optional but I do like to add in 100 grams of sultanas to make fruit scones. The next step is to add in our 1 teaspoon of baking powder and then add in 150 millilitres of beer or ale of your choice. I've used a locally sourced beer to me that has a nice ginger and toffee hint although if you didn't want to use beer you could always use a carbonated drink. Using a spatula combine the mixture into a nice smooth dough, once it's all fully combined you should be able to just tap your fingers lightly on top and the fingers should come away with nothing being sticky and then at this point it's time to turn out onto the board and roll out our scones. Turn your dough out onto a floured surface, make sure you use plenty of flour at top and bottom to prevent it sticking and then roll out to a thickness of approximately 3 quarters of an inch or 20 millimetres and then use a cutter of a size of your choice to start cutting the dough out. Once you've cut out your first wave of scones you can bind back together the dough and re-roll a second time and cut out but it is advisable to only do this once as a third time the glutens that will have built up in the dough will make the dough a bit too tough when you actually try to eat the scones later on although you can do what I've done here which is do your best with after the second roll which is to just push the dough into the cutter to try and make as many scones as possible out of the mixture. Glaze the tops of your scones with almond milk and then get ready to place into a preheated oven on 180 degrees celsius for approximately 20 minutes or until golden brown. While our scones are baking away in the oven we can make our cream substitute, typically with a scone you would serve a clotted cream but obviously as we're making it vegan here we're going to be making a clotted cream substitute out of almonds, almond milk and caster sugar. Place all the ingredients into a food processor and then blend on full speed until a nice smooth creamy paste has formed. While that's working away let me take this opportunity to tell you about a great thing called Buy Me A Coffee. Buy Me A Coffee is a great donation site where you can really help out this channel by donating the equivalent of the price of a cup of coffee. Not only will your donation help out this channel in future videos, you'll also have the opportunity to leave a message where you could even suggest ideas for the next video. If you would like to support the channel there's a link in the description, your donations would be greatly appreciated. Keep the food processor on until your almonds have formed a nice creamy paste. You may need to open and scrape down the inside of the mixer as some of the almonds may splatter up the side. Once your scones are nice and golden, remove from the oven and then transfer immediately to a cooling rack to allow them to cool. Now we've come to the stage where we're ready to serve the scones, the first thing we need to do is take a serrated knife and slice the scone in half laterally. Place a good helping of your almond cream on the base of the scone or the top, that's always been a great matter of debate and then once you've done that take a jam of your choosing and place on the opposite side and then sandwich the pair together. If you have enjoyed the video so far why not give it a like, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to never miss a future upload. I'm just going to slice one of our finished scones in half just to show you what the inside of the scone should look like once it's fully finished but now is the time to get on the kettle, make a cup of tea, sit back and relax with our fully finished scones. 
And there we have our finished scones, a traditional tea time British favourite made completely vegan. I hope you have enjoyed the video, if you have be sure to give it a like, leave a comment down below and consider subscribing to never miss a future upload and why not check out one of the videos coming up on screen now and I'll see you in the next video.